I think it's pretty clear now that Apple has a face ID problem. What do I mean? Well, I'm going to get into it here in this video right here, this one right now. First off, let's talk about what that problem actually is. It may seem like it's situational, but in reality, we have no idea when this particular problem will be totally eradicated. And what am I talking about? The fact that when you have one of these on your face, then you, uh, <laughs> your face ID doesn't work. And that is a problem. I've had many people in the comments of the videos that I've made about the newer iPhones talk about how they haven't been able to use an iPhone for, you know, however, eight, seven, nine months, whatever it is, they haven't used the iPhone for that long because Face ID doesn't work. There are some videos out there and some articles and everything that take you step by step in the process of like doing this, like covering half of your face and doing the face ID thing. And supposedly when you do that, uh, it will recognize your face with or without the face mask. But a lot of people aren't going to do that. A lot of people are not going to know to look for that. A lot of people are just going to be really frustrated. And here's where I feel like Apple's policy, I guess, what, well, what they've done in the past, which is to only really give you one security option when it comes to like, well, there's the passcode and then something else that's much more convenient, Face ID being the most recent of those things. And the thing is, Face ID, uh, don't get me wrong, Face ID, I still think is the best way to unlock a phone that I've ever experienced. It just, it just, is, it's unlocked. You don't, it's gotten so good now, you don't even really notice it. A lot of people cry for the return of the Touch ID. Touch ID on the modern iPhone is never coming back because they're not going to go back to having like, you know, just big bezels and that kind of thing. So Touch ID, which still exists on the iPhone SE that came out earlier in 2020, that is still a really good, really responsive way to enter your phone, but it does come with that sort of large bezel kind of thing that a lot of people, you know, recognize that they don't have to use because they can get phones with no bezels, et cetera, et cetera. And Face ID has been great ever since it was released and has only gotten better. But the thing is, a lot of people don't like Face ID because, well, there's, there's the notch here. And a lot of people don't like the notch. I'm one of those people that very quickly got used to the notch and you just really don't see it anymore. Whereas like on other phones that have say pinhole uh, cameras and stuff, I still see that more often than I recognize the notch. Again, other people don't feel that way. I still get lots of comments about people hating the notch and they won't buy another iPhone until they get rid of the notch and that kind of thing. And that's totally everybody's prerogative. But I think Apple might have an opportunity here and maybe it'll be too late by the time they get around to it. Maybe they'll never even consider it. Maybe they've been said, you know, Face ID is good enough for now. It's not worth making the change. My question is, though, I mean, yes, you can fix this this way, you know, and then you go like this. And, <laughs> and once you do the Face ID setup with this whole thing, then it supposedly works. But... I don't want to have to go through that. And I, as I said, many people won't know to go through that or won't want to go through that. They just want to use their phones. Apple has the opportunity to fix this with some kind of under the screen fingerprint reader or some kind of other method of unlocking the phone. I mean, they could go back to a touch ID like they have on the new iPad Air where the fingerprint reader is actually in the power button, that would work. I have, as of yet, never used an under the screen fingerprint reader that actually works well all the time. Now, there are different kinds of under the screen fingerprint readers. There's capacitive and then there's like uh, ultrasonic or something like that. Apple, if they decided to focus on an under the screen fingerprint reader, would definitely make a fantastic under the screen fingerprint reader. And so here's the crux of the issue. Right now, Apple has this great technology in Face ID, but we have this whole quarantine COVID pandemic thing happening that makes Face ID for people who have to leave the house uh, not work as well, okay? And it's, 
in, in terms of a usability thing, that is a problem. I was curious to see as we sort of ran up to the iPhone 12 release if we were going to get maybe another option like a fingerprint scanner or something like that, but we didn't. We got this, we got Face ID just like we always have. It's got the notch just like it always has had. Maybe Apple has done the math and figured out like, well, COVID is only going to go on for X long or whatever, and the cost it would take to implement another security measure instead of Face ID would be X, Y, Z. Face ID is probably not paying for itself, whereas in the first few years, what would have been profit is really just paying back the investment in R&D and stuff like that that came with Face ID. They have not been able to this point, been able to crack the code of making the notch smaller. I mean, they use multiple different cameras, multiple different technologies to make Face ID work. And the fact that it does the way that it does is an impressive fact. However, now that we have additional issues with Face ID, other than just the aesthetic value of the notch, we have a real problem. The fastest, easiest way to get into an iPhone is using Face ID. But if it doesn't work while you're wearing a mask, then is it not time for Apple to consider another option? We know that the UK has approved the vaccine from Pfizer over there, and they're going to start implementing it. And not long from now, I'm sure that the US will come close to that as well. However, it's going to take a long, long, long time to be to the point where people can go outside mask-free and uh, not be at risk of catching the COVID. Apple has a Face ID problem now. Their technology that's so fantastic doesn't really work in the current world. So should they implement something else? Should they bring back Touch ID? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you think Face ID is actually a problem now and should be changed? Do you think it's fine? It's just inconvenient? Do you think we should be given more than one option for security when having Face ID? Thanks for being here. I really do appreciate it. If this was your first time here and you want to come back again, then you can like and subscribe to the channel. Bell notify yourself so that you always know when Painfully Honest Tech videos are coming out. We also have channel membership with a join button down below, as well as merchandise right below the description of the video. So you can get yourself all kinds of different Painfully Honest Tech stuff. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys being here once again. My name is Jason. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.